question that I had in the beginning was why would a company pay a dividend? You know, why not keep the money themselves? Why would they give people cash payments just for holding their stock? And the simplified answer is that the company doesn't have a better idea of what to do with the money. Now, there's obviously a lot of incentive to pay dividends. It keeps people in the stock for life sometimes. And it also gets a bit of excitement going if a dividend is raised or gives a lot of incentive. The first one, first ever, what's called an initial public offering, an IPO, was the Dutch East India Company. They allowed people to invest and in return, the investors got a fixed portion of the profits. But what it has evolved into is companies will pay a dividend to every shareholder, depending on how many shares that they hold. So the majority of my portfolio is fractional shares, which means a tiny portion of a share instead of a full one, which means I get a tiny portion of the dividend per share. And it seems to work out at about, if a company pays four times a year, then I will usually get one cent per euro that I have in the company four times per year. Now this completely depends on how much you put in, which will then, however many shares that you can pick up for the money that you put in, is how much dividends you receive. Now dividends can be paid in cash. I've received dividends in both cash and additional stock form. And I've actually received them together once. I got a cash payment and additional shares. However, this platform trading two and two doesn't allow the distribution of the additional shares. So I just got a larger dividend payment. But if your platform allows it, you can receive cash payments. You will receive cash payments, but you could also receive additional shares. So the reason companies pay a dividend is because they don't have a better idea of what to do with the money. I know it sounds strange, but that's basically what it boils down to. A company like Berkshire Hathaway does not pay a dividend and reinvests the money back into their company. And you can see from their stock price what that can do. 427, well nearly $428,000 per share for one single share. Amazon also does not pay a dividend. Tesla does not pay a dividend. They use that money inside their company. However, a lot of the really well-established stocks and companies will pay a dividend because it keeps people interested. Now the share price does drop by the amount of dividends that were paid out, like the money sum of dividends that were paid out, the stock price will drop by that much when a dividend is paid out. So it's not just free money. And your position, so I'll go into one of mine. When you invest in a dividend stock, you start a position. So let's say Coca-Cola. When you start a position, Depending on how much money you put in, you'll get a certain amount of shares and therefore a certain amount of dividends. Coca-Cola pays every quarter, so four times a year. I think it pays 35 cents per share and you'll buy one share for $54. Now what people do, the reason people invest in dividends is your position in Coca-Cola does not change depending on the dividends you've received. Your position stays the same. You have the same amount of shares after a dividend payment However, the price, the value of the company, or the share price, I should say, will drop by the amount of the dividend. Now, I'm going to do another video on the dividend terms, like an ex-dividend date and a payment date and things like that. I haven't done one yet, but I will run through one of them very quickly. But the reason people do it is for passive income. So you can put money into a company and say, I don't want to look at that for the rest of my life. I don't care what the share price does. If something like this happens, I'll just buy more and I'll get even more dividends. So it's a way more passive form of, of uh, investing in stocks compared to trading, of course. But I will do a much more detailed breakdown pretty soon. But that's just the basics of why a company pays a dividend. It's like a thank you for holding, and it's because they 
don't know what to do with the money at the moment. Now it is important to remember as well that it is entirely up to the company how often they pay a dividend, how much they pay in a dividend. They can stop at any moment, they can change it, they can increase it. And it's obviously in their best interest for attracting shareholders to keep a, cons a consistent dividend or to increase it over time. And that will get into things called dividend kings or dividend aristocrats, which are companies that have consistently paid and consistently raised dividends for decades. But that's another video for another day. So I hope that this clarified a bit for you. And if you're interested in dividend stocks, you'll probably find a lot of useful information on my channel. We're doing a series of five minute breakdowns of dividend stocks, I'm doing stock market basics. And it's following my portfolio, which has at the moment about 530 dividend paying stocks. So if you're interested in, it, in any of that, feel free to subscribe. Let me know what you think. And I hope that you find something useful here.